let's rapidly set up a create read update and delete for attacks so that we can go ahead and see how our relationships finally sum up together so head over to my tag.php and i have to make the tag field fillable so that i can go ahead and insert into that field as i like so fillable equals this and i'll call this tag okay so we need a controller so i'll say php addison make controller and this is gonna be tags controller and just for some markup we'll say resource okay so that's been created let's head over to that controller and there is a controller how is this gonna look first of all for our index let's just use the use app tag tag right here so for our index method what are we gonna do we're just gonna return a view and this is gonna be admin dot attacks directory that we're gonna create dot an index dot blade dot php and to that index dot blade dot php we're gonna pass in some data okay and this data is gonna be called tax that's the variable that we're gonna use to access and we'll get all the tax from our tag table like this okay so we'll say tax and then we'll get tag all okay so we've set up the index route the next is the create okay so where are we gonna be creating our tax we'll just put an input at the top of the tag table so that we can create tags very easily okay so for our store we'll get the request and we'll say tag create and we'll pass in the tag so remember our create method the first thing it takes in is the table column and then the next thing is the data that we want to store into that column so we'll say request tag which we're gonna be setting up okay so next thing we'll set a session and we'll flash to the session a success message and this success message is gonna say tag created success fully okay and we just need to redirect the user back so return redirect back okay we're done with our star method easy okay and we might just want to put a little validation right here for security so let's just put that in so we'll say request and we'll make sure that the tag is required okay so that's a validation right there then we we're not going to be showing anything and for the edit we're just going to have a single page for edit okay so in a better case when you're using javascript you can actually have a modal that you trigger and you edit the tag right there so the user doesn't have to change pages over and over but for this case where we are learning level it's just okay so here we're gonna say tag equals tag find and we'll find the tag by id and we'll just return a view with that data okay so we'll say with the tag we just found right there okay and the right here it's supposed to be double column okay so that looks good and that view is gonna be admin dot tax dot edit okay so once we send that we need to update it and how are we gonna update it we first of all have to find the tag or let's validate first of all so we'll make sure that the data coming in is proper and would we'll say it must have a tag field which is required right there okay next step find the tag so we'll say tag equals tag find by id right there next step update that so we'll say tag tag field in the database is equals to request tag for my request and then we'll just save that so tag save and we set a session and this is gonna be success and we'll just say tag updated finally we just return the user back so return redirect back okay so last thing is to destroy the tag and i'm gonna show you a pretty simple easy way to destroy stuff in the database right here what we're gonna be doing we'll just say tag and we'll just say destroy id right here okay so we have a destroy method and if we know the id we can just call the destroy method rather than finding it before deleting it okay so that's something nice to know then we just flash to the session and we'll say success and we'll say tag deleted and the last piece to return the redirect of the user back 
okay so we've set up our controller and that was pretty easy next step our views so we'll head over to our views and in our admin directory we're gonna have a tax directory and we're gonna have index.blade.php for our page and we're also gonna have edit.blade.php okay so how's our index.blade.php gonna look just like the categories so i'll copy everything from there and i'll paste it into my index.blade right here and then right here we're just gonna say no tax yet that's if there are no tax and we're gonna be deleting but we're gonna be going to the tax dot delete route and we have access to the tag in the loop or actually i should just start from above so first we have tags right here as the heading and here we have the tag name right here and uh, the next thing we have editing deleting and for each so if tags count because remember in our controller we are returning a tax variable right here in our index method where is it okay right here so we are returning a tax variable and right here we can say if tax count greater than zero then for each tax as tag echo out the tag tag so right here it's not name in our database it's called tag and then it's not gonna go to category.edit it's gonna go to tag.edit and the variable is gonna be tag id right there okay so this is gonna say edit the tag and this is gonna be tags.delete where it's gonna delete the tag okay so the last thing is to actually set up our routes so let's go to our so let's go to our web.php and we'll set up all the routes for our tags and don't worry i'm gonna show you a very simple way to set up all of these routes with just one line of code but for now i want you to write them out so that you understand deeply how this stuff works okay so next thing we have a tax right here and it's gonna receive an array and it uses the tax controller so tax controller at the index method as tax next is gonna be the edit so we'll say tax slash edit slash id and it's gonna go to the tax controller at edit method and we'll just say tag dot edit right there next thing we need to update and remember the update is a post so we're gonna change the method here to post and we're gonna say tax update and it's gonna also receive the id but it's gonna go to the update right there so it's gonna be tag dot update okay so next thing to destroy so it's gonna be a get and it's gonna say tag delete and it's gonna say delete right here and we're gonna say tag delete right here okay so let's just say tag dot update so tag as in singular because we're dealing with one tag right here okay so we have one two three four everything should work perfectly oh but things are not just that easy so let's go ahead and see if we have any errors in our field so first of all let's just add a link for our tags in our app.blade.php so let's scroll down and right here under categories we'll just have a tax link so this is gonna go to tax the route we just defined so tax so let's try this out if i refresh i have a tax and i click tax it takes me to the tax table and it says no tax yet okay so we need to be able to create task tax okay and i said we're gonna have an input but i don't think the design is gonna be good so we are just gonna have a separate create tax page okay so there are a lot of pages but everything is organized so it's easy to understand so create.blade.php is gonna be for our tax and i'm just gonna duplicate everything in my create for categories and at the top right here we're gonna say create a new tag and go to the tag dot store and uh, right here we're gonna have tag and the name of that field is gonna be tag just like we defined in our controller and uh, right here we're gonna say store tag okay so that should be able to create a new tag for us so let's go ahead and check that out but we need a link obviously so in our app.blade.php we're just gonna say create a new tag right here 
So this is gonna be tag dot create, and this is gonna say create tag. Okay. So let's refresh route tag that creates not found. That's my fault. So how did I call that? Okay, we haven't created that route. So we're just going to create it now. Okay, so let's say tag create, and it's not going to be receiving an ID because we're trying to access the form where we create a tag. And this is going to say tag create. Okay, so let's head over to our controller, tags controller. And right here, we're going to return a view where we're going to be able to create our tags. So it's admin, the tags, the create, just like we created. Okay, so let's refresh and that should give us that page. And it gives us um, create tag. Tag that's not defined, obviously. Okay, so let's define it. It's going to be a post. So we have to change that verb right there to post. And this is going to be store. And this is going to go to the store method. And this is going to be tag dot store. Okay, so in our task controller, we're receiving that data, validating it, creating the tag, flashing to the session and returning back. So let's refresh. Okay, so let's create a new tag. And this tag is going to be for WordPress sites. Store tag, session not found. Okay, let's import that at the top. Yeah, well, so session, sorry about that, guys. So I refresh. Or I go back and I visit my tax table. Tax that delete not found. Did I make that error also? So I called it tag dot delete. So in my app dot delete. So right here it's tag dot delete, and uh, also here it's tag dot edit. So that should look great. So we have edit and delete. So we have a WordPress tag. We can edit, and uh, our edit is not returning a view. Okay, that's the problem because our edit is still empty. So right here in our tags, our edit is empty. So we'll just duplicate the create and we'll paste that in. And we're not going to be saying start tag. We're going to be saying update tag. Okay. And it's going to go to the tag dot update. And obviously we need to pass in the parameter. So we'll say ID and we're going to say tag ID right here. Okay. So we'll say edit tag and would we'll say tag tag right here and the value for that field right here is gonna be the tag that we are trying to edit so the user actually sees what he's trying to edit so right here we're gonna say tag tag so if we refresh that we should be able to see that and we have wordpress there and we're just gonna say for our block we only block about wordpress 4.7 update tag and tag updated Awesome. But we should redirect the user to a more useful page. Okay. So after we update the tag, we won't redirect the user back. We're just going to redirect to a route. And this route is going to be tax. Okay. So let's refresh, change this to 4.6, update the tag, and we're redirected here. Let's create a new tag. And this is going to be for Laravel 5.4 post 4. And we'll just store the tag. And right there it's created but we don't want to come back to this page so when we create our attack let's head over to our store method we'll not redirect the user back but we redirect to a route called tax okay so that should work let's create another one for css3 and we'll store the tag and we redirect it right here so let me delete the wordpress own method tag delete does not exist so that's probably my fault because we are referencing the delete route, but it's supposed to be destroy. Okay. So look at the error right there. It says map dot delete on tax controller does not exist. So it means we should actually have destroy because in our tax controller, the method we need to use to delete is destroy. Okay. So hope that makes sense. So we refresh tag deleted. We can delete that for CSS3, tag, delete it right there. But we can create a new one and we're just going to call it HTML5. Okay, so that's a tag created. So in one video, we're able to do create, read, update, and delete for tags. Pretty cool, right? So I hope you're able to follow up and you should actually be able to follow up because we've done create, read, update, and delete multiple 
times. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video where we actually see how our relationships are gonna work.